All right, our kid. Well, we're back in Manchester and we're gonna go see what things we can find at the boot sale. Hello and welcome back to Cooking the Haydens. I'm Car Boot Chris and I have to apologise for that dodgy Mancunian accent at the start there. Uh, I really shouldn't have to put on a Mancunian accent. I am, in fact, from Manchester originally. Um, but like anyone else, I don't really hear myself as having a Manc accent. But maybe you'll tell me different. Anyway, enough of that. We're at Burnage Rugby Club. And we're up in Manchester, of course. Um, mixed reasons, come up to see family, but also at the same time, my mum's been taken ill and um, is in hospital, unfortunately. So we're hoping everything will be okay there. Um, so, yeah, it's been a while since we were here at Burnage Rugby Club. And this is one of my favourite boot sales in the Greater Manchester area, along with Chelford, Carboo, Adams Chelford. Um, and a couple of others, but this is a good one. On a good day, Burnage Rugby Club can be massive. I don't know when you, whether you saw when we walked in, but it's split in two. So there's a hard standing area on the car park, and then when it's a nice day, it overflows onto the rugby field as well, and it can be absolutely huge. So always worth a look, always worth going to, especially if it's dry or sunny. If it's not, it does tend still to go ahead, but you'll, it'll only be on the hard standing and not on the, on the uh, rugby pitch. Anyway, we're looking for bargains. We're looking for things that we can resell for a profit on the Tinternet, on the line, on eBay or other marketplaces too. Look at that horse. That's a big one. I didn't buy it. These can sometimes be worth decent money, these uh, Native American statue type things, but this one had a little bit of damage on it, so I'll put it back down. Now I've got to be very, very picky about what I buy. I don't want to buy anything bulky because we've got to take it all back down to Devon and we ain't got the space. <coughs> How much are your trainers? Uh, 35. Then. 35. Um, okay, thank you. Straight away, what I've noticed at this boot sale is that there's a lot of trainers and a lot of shoes and a lot of clothing. You'll see it as I go round. There's tons of it, especially trainers and clothing. I just said that, didn't I? Yeah, well, there's a lot of it compared to down in Devon. There doesn't seem to be that much in the way of trainers and clothing. Wow, these guys are ugly, which normally means they could be worth some money. What about these trolley things? Uh, 10, each. 10 each. Quite a few of these trolls. Sorry, you couldn't see that one. Some cool stuff on this table. Those trolls, in hindsight, probably should have bought them. They are worth good money. I did check afterwards. How much are these ones? Oh, ten, for them. ten on those. And what about your walking boots? It's six. It's six. Okay, thank you. See what I mean about trainers and shoes? It's quite a lot of it. 
um, but the prices are quite high or they feel high to me let me know if perhaps i should have bought some of these trainers i'm not having much luck at all Okay. You'll be dead. You do like this woman, don't you? Yes. You want to hold her? Yes. Please! Yes. Hey, Hannah. You've been going off in the car all morning, right? Like. <laughs> <laughs> driving me mad. Yeah, I've had a few, quite a lot of offers on it. Yeah. Um, I'll take a tenner. Would you do eight on it? Got it on at 15. Yeah. Take 10. Okay, I might pop back. All right, okay. No problem. All right. Thank you, though. Right. Uh, two pound on each of them. They're all new. How much is your bag? Yeah, five, I want five. Five. I know, I'll move this. Take four on it. No, I'd like a five on it, really. Okay. It's all right. It's all right. So I've barely bought a thing at this point. It's uh, cheesing me off a little bit. All the prices seem to be pretty high. So we'll make our way across onto the field. Sometimes you get better prices down here because this is just regular people coming along with stuff to sell rather than a lot of traders and uh, regular sellers up on the hard standing area. Now that is cool. How much is it? It comes with it all. Oh, the whole lot. In a bag full of you. What, this as well? well and yeah, this? All that, that. All this. I don't know what's in there. I'm not into it, so. So, what are you thinking? About one and a half or right. cents of the lot. Yeah. I know that's worked out on its own. Mm. Yeah, no, that's nice, that. that. Okay, thank you. So the chap wanted 150 quid for the whole bundle, the big figures, and uh, the bag full of toys as well. Unfortunately, Annabelle would have killed me if I'd have taken that thing home. <laughs> How much is this? John. John. No problem, take care, bye-bye. Oh, big counter. Five. Fiver. Yeah, money machine. Yeah, money counter. I'm guessing it doesn't do the new notes, is that what it... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't. It does all the new, yeah, does the new ones new as well. And fraudulent ones. The book's there. Yeah. I'll take that, but can you hang on to it for us? Sure. I just can't be bothered lugging that around. Uh, I'll give you the money for it, then it's all paid up. Cheers. Thanks, cheers. Oh, 
Go on, I'll take that. How much is your bag? Yeah, I'll take that. There you go. Lovely, thank, thank you. Thank you. Cheers. So things have started picking up nicely. I've got a few things in the bag, um, some nice bargains. Um, that money county though, for five quid, I couldn't not buy it. It's worth good money. I'm pretty sure of that. But I was just looking at the weight of it and I just thought, I can't be bothered carrying this thing around. Uh, you, I think you could tell what I was thinking when I was picking that thing up. Uh, but for a fiver, come on. You know, got to think of the profit. Don't forget to stay tuned. Um, we'll do the haul afterwards. Bit of a different haul. A different way of doing it because I'm not in my usual sort of, you know, professional studio environment that you're used to. Um, but we'll do our best. How much are your hats? Two pound. You got any more of these or your hats? That's all. That's it. I'll take those two. Yeah, that's Some nice roller boots here. How much are your roller boots? Five. Do four on them? Yeah. I'll follow you on Instagram. Oh, nice one. Oh, cheers. You're a good one. But you didn't expect me to see me up here, did you? Oh, no. <laughs> and my mum's not very well, she's in hospital, so we're visiting. Oh. Oh, I've got to carry them now. How much is this roller? The fairy one? Yeah. £2. What? £2. Yeah. 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 No change. We'll stick with the fiver, it's fine. Oh, yeah, no worries. They're worth it anyway. <laughs> Yeah, they will. We'll find someone. Right. Thank you. Instagram follower there. So that was cool. I ended up paying the full price on those of a fiver um, just because of the, uh, the support for the channel. So, uh, yeah, I didn't stick to the four pound. I paid the fiver. They're well worth it anyway. Never seen Skechers roller boots before. So they've surely got to be worth it. If you want to find out what I'm likely to list those for, stay tuned till the end of the video. Oh, I've spotted a plush. How much is, how much is your teddy? Pound. I'll take that one. Yeah. Definitely wake up in the morning, this isn't it? <laughs> it's not good, is it, getting up no, at this time? Why do they have to be so damn early? Eh? Why do they have to be so bloody know, early? Why can't they be like 10 o'clock? Yeah, before? normal time. Yeah, normal time. <laughs> Don't know why they do it. No. 
Thank you anyway, cheers. I've not actually bought Disney plushes for a while, you know, a proper load of Disney plushes. And what happens, I come back to Manchester and I end up with a load of Disney plushes. That's a lot of DVDs. Some roller boots here. Problem is I did look inside these. I don't think I get it on camera, but looked inside, they were quite worn inside. So uh, I left them on the table. How much are your hats? Ooh, what's that? Ice it's by in the little room. corner there. <clears throat> Do a fiver for the two? Yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Cheers. <clears throat> Easy pick up that one. No Myva, two for a fiver. Thank you. It will, it will come out. It's just that I've, I've wrapped them up in your place. Yeah. Wrapped them up in quite a few different ones. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thanks very much. Only the posh stuff, darling. Really nice one. Which one is that? Thank you. Some interesting looking trainers here. These are diesels, both of them are diesels. I think the lady wanted a tenner each. We might hear the conversation in a minute. I'm, I'm not 100% sure because while I'm voice editing this, I can't actually hear what's going on. Um, but a little bit worn. They don't look too bad, but the other pair were a bit worn. So I know sometimes diesel trainers are a bit hit and miss. So I decided to give these a miss anyway. Sparkly silver, but okay. Mm. Yes. Oh, what do we have here? Mm. Nice Hasbro oh, chip. It does work because it's on the way here. Has he? How much is it? Do you want five for it? Five. Oh, we need Go on, I'll take that for a fiver. It, it definitely does move because it was chimping in the car when I put it in there. <laughs> you got any more bags? Have you got any bags? Um... <laughs> yeah, he's working. Oh, yeah, you go. <laughs> Great. Cheers. Thanks. Seen a few of those chimps at different boot sales, but they tend not to be in good condition. Um, I've passed on a few in the in the past, but this one was a cracker. Um, two pound. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Oh, here we go. Plushes. Plush heaven. Oh God. 50p <laughs> for some cracking Disney plushes. Um, right. We might be able to shoot. If you've, if you've got any bags for these, it might be easier. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. Right, so we'll... If we count them in, yeah. so we've got one. They should be. Balls. Have you got good eyes? You keep and count. I've lost count already. 
I think it's too easy. Like a three or a three. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. How much? How much? Um, which ones were they? The ones in the back? Yeah. Probably just two pounds for. Okay. 450. 450. Let's see what else she got. Yeah. Yeah. See if I can uh, get another one. Mm. I'll go and we'll just round it up yeah. to five with that one. So I think this is the last aisle um, over on the field. And I was contemplating going round again. But then I've got Annabelle's voice in my head saying, do not buy any more stuff. I can just hear the abuse that I'm going to get <laughs> if I pick up any more things and we can't get it all in the car to go back home. So I stuck to the once round just to keep her happy, really. I got quite a bit of stock from this boot sale. It's certainly been worth going to. And nice to be back in Manchester, of course. Some decent bits of clothing on this one, but the condition wasn't ideal on some of it. This was a nice um, body warmer thing, Gillet. You know, it looks all right on camera, but up close it wasn't great. Otherwise, I probably would have had that. Now, have a look at all the stuff I've got. And this is where I'm thinking, do I need a trolley? I've been resisting one. Do I need a trolley? And I've still got to go and pick up that bloody money counter yet. Look at it. Hey, everybody. I'm back from Burnage Rugby Club car boot sale. Uh, I've not been there for donkey's year, so it's good to be back. What I noticed was prices were pretty expensive. Um, maybe, maybe I was just trying to find the expensive stuff. I don't know, but everything seemed to be a little bit more expensive than usual. If you're wondering what that noise is, it's, it's this bunny rabbit. Hello. Hello. Say hello to everyone. No. Okay, anyway. I'm at Fix It Frida's B&B, &B, um, so not the normal kind of video. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the camera around and then go through everything that I picked up, which you can see here. Um, I can't pick up that much, so I had to leave a lot of stuff behind. You might have noticed in the video. So I was very picky about what I picked up. And um, yeah, this is it, basically. So uh, we'll flip it around and see what we got. So here we go, you're on the uh, booby cam. I'm hands free so I can pick stuff up and show you what I picked up. So we'll start over here at this thing, money counter. Now I've bought a couple of these in the past and they can command pretty good money. Um, this was five quid, which is a bit of a no brainer to be honest with you. Um, the only thing you have to check with these is, well you don't have to check it, but it's nice to put it in the description is, is it going to be compatible with the new plastic notes that we have? Because they're not always compatible or sometimes they need an update which you can download into them. Like on the Tinternet or something. Um, it's got its thing with it. Uh, yeah, like I say, it cost a fiver. I can't find the exact same one. But um, this could be like £50, £60 pound potentially. Maybe even a bit more. So I'm not really 100% sure on that yet. Um, so I've got a nice little um, cat sort of man bag, sort of side bag thing. Uh, this was two quid. I think um, probably get about 15 back on that. Um, I've got some caps. I might as well do all the caps in one go. So these motor racing ones are pretty nice. These were two for five pound. Um, so we're always going to pick those up. Um... I'm not sure, I mean, that needs a bit of a reshape on it, if you look. I might have to just do something with that. Um, I'm not sure of the resale value on either of these, but I would think, that's really nice. I would think that um, minimum £15 each on those, maybe more, maybe more. 
Uh, the other caps I picked up with this one is, is a starter. This one's a Mitchell and Ness. Two pretty good caps. Two pound each, these two were. Um, probably 10 to 15 back each on those. Um, oh, now this was a good pickup. Did you? I'm not sure if I got it on camera, but these Moana, that's a spear and a hooky thing. Um, all works. But these are a cracking pickup because these are worth good money. Um, I paid £3 for the pair. And let me turn them off. £3 for the pair. But the resale value is really good. Um, it could be around £30 to £40 on these, like if I keep them together. Uh, what else did we get? Um, I got this mug, which is a real nice example of a Disney mug. This has got good value. Um, it says some mornings are rough on it. It cost me £1. Um, this mug is probably... 20 to 25 pound on that i reckon it's a good one um there was loads of trainers um loads and loads i've never seen so many trainers and clothing as well lots of clothing but i didn't look through it all um because i'm limited on what i can take back we've only got little car to go back in um now this is a fail i'm pretty sure this is a fail these are adidas nemesis blades um Part of a bundle with these, five pound each, and these were five pound. And guess what? I didn't notice. Somehow, I didn't notice the lace that also comes with it is missing. So I don't even know if I'm going to get me five quid back on these. I really don't. Um, if I add the laces, it's probably still a fail because maybe ten quid or something, ten or twelve pound. But without the laces, I don't know. What do you think? I think that's a fail. Um, let's go to the other trainers. These are decent. These are uh, Nike uh, DMSX. Uh, again, of course, it's part of the bundle deal. Five pound. I think these are going to be worth about thirty-five. So that'll be that'll make up a bit for these. So that's 35, but these are the best ones. These are woven Nikes, and there's not any second-hand ones. I think it's like shoe, some, shoe fit glove or something, shoe glove, I, I can't remember. Um, but there's only a couple of brand new ones on, and they're about 90 quid. Um, so I reckon maybe about 50 on these because they're actually in pretty good condition as well. I mean, they're barely worn on the bottom. So I might even get 50 on those for a fiver back. So that really, those two really make up for the crappy boots that I picked up. Um, now, also on the sort of similar theme, look at these. These are cracking. These are Skechers four-wheelers. I've never seen Skechers on the roller boots before. But Skechers are good sellers, of course. Always good to pick up them. Stick them on some wheels. And these have got to be a winner. Cost me five quid. Um, channel supporter, Instagram supporter. Um, so, yeah, I paid a fiver for them. These could be about £30, £35. But they're all over the place. All the different designs... All the different styles, the prices are everywhere. These could be anywhere from like 20 to 50 quid. I'll say 30 to be on the safe side. Now, look at Yano. I picked one of these up a while back, and I'm surprised to have been able to find another one. It's got all the bits with it. It's like an electronic pet storyteller. Sold the last one for about 30 quid. So there's no reason why this one won't go for the same. And it cost me £4. £4. That's a bargain. Also found this um, motorcycle jacket. Um, I'm not sure at all on the price of it. But it cost me a fiver. It's got all the armour and everything in it. hope the picture's okay. It might be a bit bright in here. 
cost me a fiver, but it's I would oh, it's in good condition, although it smells a lot of smoke. So I'm thinking maybe I don't know thirty ish, but I've not found it. I've not found it on online. Um, what else have we got? We've got this Hasbro for real friends. Um, I nearly bought one of these previous. I've seen them before. It's this chimp. And he's working in really nice condition. Cost me a fiver. I think he's worth about, about 25 quid. So that's all right. Um, got a load of plush toys. I've not bought Disney plushes for ages. Um, but this one stall had a load of real nice ones. They're all 50p each. Um, so there's no way I could not pick some of them up. And that one I just picked up to round it up to a fiver. Um, I wouldn't normally have got that one, even though it is stamped. It's not really worth a huge amount. Um, but I rounded it up. So here's what we picked up. Price-wise, I'm not 100% sure, but they're going to be minimum £10 each. So some of them have got tags still as well. The baby ones are really good to pick up normally. They sell quite well. He's a nice one. Uh, tramp. There's another lady and another tramp there. Uh, and we've got the Rue in the pouch. Probably not worth much, that one. That one's Moana, the pig um, from Moana. Probably a tenner, maybe. Uh, these baby ones do quite well. Not massive value, but normally do pretty well. So, again, 50p each. I couldn't not get them for that. And how cute is that one? That's really cute. Uh, Mickey with a baby suit thing on, like pyjamas or something. Pluto pyjamas. And look at, the, uh, look at the slippers on them. That is so cute. I'm sure that's going to do well. 50p. I couldn't not pick it up. And then this one was from another stall. This is um, a Christmas mini, um, 2019, so fairly recent. It's got to be a minimum of £10, and that one cost me a pound. And finally, a couple of, bit of bits of clothing. I got this Golf uh, Adidas uh, gilet or uh, body warmer type thing. Um, cost 50p. Probably going to be worth at least 15 quid. And of course, what else other than a cycling jersey, which was also 50p. Um, and this, uh, probably another 15 quid maybe on that. That is it. Um, a bit of a different style sort of haul showing today uh, after the boot sale. Let me know if you enjoyed it. Um, back up in Manchester. There might be yet be another Manchester video yet. I'm not sure yet. Annabelle's telling me I can't buy any more stuff because we can't get it home, but I'm sure we can. I'm sure we can. Anyway, hit the like button. We'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye.